Hey y'all, I wanted to show you how to do this simple flat twist style with your braids. So I'm going to start here with four braids. I'm on three weeks of these braids now, by the way. My sister asked me yesterday, how long am I keeping them? And you know me, it's as long as I can stand them. Because like on week two, I was like, I can't stand them. I hate them. And then, no, it was like after week one. And then week two, I'm like, ooh, I love them again. And week three, I'm still loving them. So we'll see how I feel like <laughs> when next week, week four, and see if I'm going to make it to five or six. Because I only plan when I got these to keep them in for up to six weeks. And so I'm at the halfway mark of that. And then here you can either like put a ponytail holder here, but I just decided to keep twisting it all the way down. Thusly. And after that, I mean, you can leave it like this. I did this style because I want to pull my hair up in like a bun, or you can just have it low like this and pour your hair down. So you got options. I'm not sure though so you can do it that way or you could take it all the way from here across and braid it but i'm just gonna leave it like this for now and see about putting this into oh this is easy this is crunchy and i wanted it to be like a higher up ponytail so i'm gonna get this little strand of hair keeps getting stuck in my nail and it's making it lift i got it's almost time to get these nails refreshed so i'm gonna do it more yeah up here first so bring the hair up first then bring the rest of the hairs up to where i want this to be So you could have gone high ponytail. This is like midway, but still high. High is just up here. You could have done a low ponytail. You can leave this ponytail down if you want to. I'm going to wrap mine up into a bun. So I'm just twisting my hair around and then twist, twist it around, I mean, and then wrap, twist it, and then wrap, and then because this tapers off, then it makes it easy to wrap it and tuck it into itself, and I'm not going to add a pin or anything, but if you're not feeling as secure in your wrapping ability, then of course, I like the little face with it, isn't it? Of course, you know, use a couple of hairpins to fix it into place. And if it's pulling too tight, loosen it. We don't need that tension on our edges. So pull it, pull it out to where it's comfortable to you. Like that. And then if you want to, you can get my brush. I'm gonna spray these edges with water because it makes the gel do better. Plus I already have previous gel on here. And then I'm going in with my I can put my edge brush right in. You know, sometimes I put my edge brush right in it and sometimes I pre-apply it. You could do it either way. So with this one, I'm gonna just go in my edge brush, but you can pre-apply it and also use your edge brush. That's two ways. And then it's like you brush it, but then you follow it up with your finger to smooth it into place. So this already has brush it, follow it up with your finger to help smooth it into place. You can use the comb part, like if you want to be a little more exact here. Brush it and use your finger to move it into place. But sometimes you decide to do it one way and the hairs tell you they want to do it a different way. That's what the hairs just said. They said combine these two. We don't need two separate ones. You see how it popped up on me? That's what it was telling me where it wanted to be. So sometimes you got to listen. You got to listen. Like that. 
that. Make sure I stay centered with the camera, right? Getting, getting into it. And then over here, you can add some first. Brush it and smooth. Brush it and smooth, smooth, smooth. You're running low, just add a little more. The thing I like about using this also as an edge control is it lasts a couple days, especially if I go over like with my dryer with diffuser attachment or even not the diffuser and like hit it with some heat or sit under my hooded hair dryer, then it really sets them into place. So if I do that after this, these edges will stay set for like two or three days if I make sure that when I go to sleep at night, I have to make sure that I really focus my satin scarf on tying my edges down. Otherwise, they'll just, you know, be all over the place. There we go. And there's not really any hairs here to do anything with. I'm just going to blend that together. So we're here. So now, let me show you how you can set them with the dryer if you want to. So, y'all, this is Dyson. Where does it say it at? Right, see? This is Dyson. And we're going to add the diffuser attachment to it. So that turns this from direct heat to indirect heat. And then I'm going to turn it on and just maybe like a minute on each side, 30 seconds to a minute on each side. And I'm just going to hover, but I'm going to put it on mute so y'all don't hear all the dryer noise. But I'm going to let you hear it when it first comes on so you hear how smooth it sounds. And that's it so that's how i do a way right to do a style and set those edges if you want to with the innocence i create hold i also use the before i did this style today i went in with the hair renew daily active serum to um give my scalp some extra tlc so i did that did the style did my edges and now i'm ready to go about my day bye